Hi, my name is Lily and I'm a kitchen addict. It had been six months and two days since my last kitchen. Hey, I'm Brandon and I'm Lily's sponsor. Yesterday, I relapsed. So I asked her to recount her last event because understanding your triggers can be a powerful tool to prevent future relapses. Well, I just finished at the tennis courts in my HOA when I decided to walk home for more exercise. You know, I thought, what's the harm? But then I saw it, the open house sign. And honestly, I'd been so strong the last six months, I felt invincible. I thought I could handle anything. Where I live in Paradise Valley, all of the homes, they were built in the 2000s and hardly any of them had been upgraded. So I didn't really think there was anything there that could trip me, you know? But as soon as I walked into the house, I knew. I knew it was too late. The home itself, it was so inviting. It was so warm. You could just tell whoever was there really loved it as their own. But I composed myself, you know, I kept it together. But when I had to go greet the agent in the dining room, that's when it all happened. And I started to fall apart. The kitchen it was a masterpiece, a celebration of design, and elegance, and function. The first thing I noticed were the stainless steel appliances like the shining knights of the kitchen, battling against fingerprints and stains, the chaos of the kitchen, all with such unmatched grace. I mean, it was a perfect juxtaposition to the rich navy hue of these cabinets, a true declaration of style. The LVP flooring, the quartz countertops, they're both so adorable and endlessly elegant. It was all too much, and all of a sudden, it was just like a flashback of 965 Griffith Drive. It's important for you to know that Lily's last relapse was triggered in 2023 by Arabesque Tile Backsplash. Arabesque Tile Backsplash. A testament to true artistry. I lost it. And I fully descended into the darkness. I'm not proud to say it, but that's when the agent had to escort me out of the open house. It's important as her sponsor that I help her identify her feelings. So I asked her, how did that make you feel? Oh God, embarrassed, disappointed. You know, I really thought with all the work I had put in that I could handle it, but there was no way to know. And I told her, you're not alone in this journey and your addiction to stunning kitchens does not have to define you. If you'd like to get help for your kitchen addiction, Give me a call at the number below or scan the QR code for the support and guidance you need. Help is only a phone call away.